everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a math quiz. And so what do I mean by that? I have other math videos where I talk about specific types of problems and I use several examples of that type of problem. That's not what this video is. This video I'm calling a math quiz. So we have five problems to do and they're all different types of problems that you will see in nursing school. So the way I want you to take this video is read through the problem, pause the video, try and do the math yourself, and then press play so you can see the rationale. So let's get into our first problem. A nurse is preparing to administer TPN, 1200 mLs over 24 hours. The nurse should set the IV pump to how many mLs per hour? Pause. Now let's work it out and see if you got it right. What are we looking for? MLs per hour, right? So we're going to put MLs per hour in our answer. And what do we know? What does the problem tell us? We have 1,200 MLs in 24 hours. So for this type of problem, you're just going to divide it down. So 1,200 divided by 24. 50. So what should the nurse set the pump for? 50 mLs per hour. Let's try another one. Our second question is an INO question. So the nurse is completing a 6-hour INO on a patient. The patient drank 4 ounces of juice, had a 100 mL bolus, and had 50 mLs of broth. What is the patient's intake in mLs? So pause it. Now let's work it out and see if you got it right. So what we're looking for is mLs, right? We want to know the total mLs in six hours. And we already have some of that information, right? So we know there's the 100, and we know there's the 50, but we're missing something, right? We're missing the third component because this is not mLs, it's ounces. So we need to convert it. So if we remember, we'll put mLs here in our answer because that's what we're looking for. There are 30 mLs in one ounce. And mLs is what we're looking for, so it has to be in our numerator, so our top number. So 30 mLs equals one ounce. And how many ounces do we have? Four. So the ounces will cancel. You'll multiply 30 times 4 and get 120, then this number gets put here. It gets added in to our total of mLs. And when you add it up, you get 270 mLs. So this is our answer. This is how much intake the patient had over 6 hours. Question number 3. A nurse is preparing to administer gentamicin 800 milligrams PO. The amount available is 200 milligram capsules. How many capsules should the nurse administer? Now let's work it out together. What are we looking for in our answer? We're looking for capsules. So we'll put capsules here at the end. And if it's what we're looking for, it needs to be in our numerator. So we'll just put it up here. I'll just say cap for now. And where do we have this in the problem? Right here. So 200 milligrams is the equivalent of one capsule. So we'll say one capsule here, 200 milligrams here. And what do we want to give to the patient? We want to give 800 milligrams. So we'll put our 800 milligrams here so that they'll cancel. So they will. Milligrams will cancel. This will leave us with capsules, which is the only thing we want. Do the math, and by that I mean 1 times 800 divided by 200 times 1. That gets us 4 capsules. So our answer is 4 capsules. Question number 4. A nurse is preparing to administer medication A 30 milligrams IM. Available is medication A 50 milligrams per 1 ml. How many ml should the nurse administer? 
So take a second, pause it. Now let's work it out together. So what are we looking for? We're looking for MLs. So we're going to put that here in our answer. And if it's in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator. And where do we see it in the problem? Here. So 1 ml is 50 milligrams. And what do we want to give? 30 milligrams. So the milligrams will cancel, leaving us with just mLs, just like we want. You do the math, so 1 times 30, 50 times 1, and then you'll divide 30 by 50 and you get 0.6 mLs. And this is for an IM injection, so that's not too um, unheard of of an amount to give IM. So that's how you know it makes sense. If you were to do this math wrong and you got 60 mLs, that wouldn't make a lot of sense, right? Because that would be way too much to give as an IM injection. So our answer is 0.6 mLs. Okay, last one. This one is a little more challenging. So I'll get down. <laughs> a nurse is preparing to administer medication B 20 milligrams per kilogram per day to a 44 pound patient. The amount available is a suspension 250 milligrams per 5 mLs. How many mLs should the nurse administer? Okay, let's work this one out. So first of all, what do we want, right? We want, at the end, the mLs. So let's put that over here. We want to end up with mLs. Now we have a lot more things to figure out first. So we have 20 milligrams per kilograms per day. So when we write that, the 20 milligrams will be on the top in our numerator, and then kilograms per day will be represented like this. What else do we know? We know we have a patient that weighs 44 pounds, and we don't have pounds anywhere else in here. So we need to convert that to kilograms. So we need a converting factor. So one kilogram is 2.2 pounds. I'm just going to abbreviate pounds here. And we have a 44 pound patient. And then finally, what more do we want to know? We still got to find the mLs. So where is that in the problem? Here. So since we're looking for it in our answer, it needs to be in our numerator. So the 5 mLs will go in the top, it'll go in the numerator, and the 250 milligrams will go on the bottom. Now let's start canceling some stuff. First of all, our kilograms will cancel, our pounds will cancel, and our milligrams here and here will cancel. So this will leave us with mLs, which is what we're looking for, and then per day, you can write it, but you don't have to. The per day is kind of implied. So mLs per day. So we set it up the way we wanted to. Now all we got to do is do the math. So multiply 20 times 1 times 44 times 5, and you should get like 4,400. And then multiply 2.2 times 1 times 250, and you should get 550. So if you divide that, you'll end up with 8. So our answer for this problem is 8 mLs per day. That's how much we should administer. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you thought this was challenging and it was a bit too much, go back. I'll put the playlist for my math videos in the description. Go back and check those out and review them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.